What is the difference between anatomy and physiology? A and P, as we like to call them. And more importantly, why should you care? Here's the deal. Yes, they are very similar, but they're also very, very different. And learning a little bit more about them might give you different career ideas that you've never thought of before. Because I hate to break it to you, but it ain't all med school, folks. Roll that new intro. What's up, everybody? My name is Patrick. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to learn something. We're talking about the difference between anatomy and physiology, so we start where we always do, the big picture. Anatomy asks what and where, while physiology asks how and why. Anatomy is form, physiology is function. And while they usually get lumped together, in reality, they're very different. So we need to dissect them a little bit. Get it? Dissect, like, like, like dissecting a, all right. All right, so if we do the cliche dictionary thing for a second, anatomy is a branch of morphology that deals with the structure of organisms and the structural makeup, especially of an organism or any of its parts. And that morphology piece is what I wanna get into a bit. For example, both sexually reproducing animals and flowers have ovaries, or pretty much how all vertebrates have the same general skeletal plan. A backbone, a number of limbs, a skull with an articulating jaw, that's what's called comparative morphology. And that field of science teaches us all kinds of things about evolution and how similar structures work on different animals. But morphology can also be applied to the structure of non-living things like architecture or robotics. Like just last summer, I went to the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry where they had an entire exhibit about how engineers were taking inspiration from human and animal anatomy to design robots. And I thought it was so cool that the engineers who worked on these machines probably collaborated with anatomists not doctors, the ones that we usually think of are the experts of anatomy, although I have no idea why. And all of that is anatomy on a large scale. But you could also study the extremely tiny, a branch of anatomy called histology, or as I like to call it, coloring, but with cells. So if anatomy is the what is this thing aspect of studying the body, then physiology is the how does this thing work? You could study the physiology of only certain things like just plant or just human physiology. Or you could study the physiology of certain events like exercise or sleep. Give you a hint there, you do more than just close your eyes. You could even target your study based on how you're gonna use the information. Like an evolutionary physiologist wants to see how our body processes have changed over time, or an applied physiologist, well, that's just a doctor. So it's not surprising that you're gonna get more physiology classes going forward, just under different names. Like pharmacology is the study of physiology of just drugs, or immunology is the study of the immune system physiology. But here's what's so awesome. Anatomy and physiology ask really broad questions. They should, this squishy meat sack is really complicated. But so many questions about the body don't fit neatly into either of those two camps. Like the bulk of my undergrad was kinesiology, or how the body moves. If you like physics applied to the human skeleton, highly recommend a kinesiology class. Or some doctors decided, you know, there's one particular piece of anatomy that's just so weird, we'll throw it into its own thing and call it neuroscience. The brain, it is complicated. And even then, dude, humans behave in such weird ways, like none of this makes sense. And that's why we have scientists like psychologists and behavioral scientists to answer that other question why we do things with our body. Because of course, learning about the body itself is cool, but it's also the tool that we use to experience the universe with. So if you are down to start your study of anatomy with me, I'm gonna recommend this video I did on directional terms. It gives you kind of an orientation that you're gonna need to navigate the body with. Also a big thank you goes to my patrons on Patreon, Diana and Jessica. Y'all are making this series of videos happen. Otherwise, if you wanna support the channel for free, you can always subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, Either way, have fun, be good. Thanks for watching.